Welcome to our tutorial about mirroring entities. Let's start by inserting a sketch on the top plane. I'm going to place two center point arcs. The first center point is going to be at the origin point. I'm going to snap the center of the arc to the origin point. And here's my second click. That sets the start point to the arc. As I move my mouse, I have feedback lines and I see the 90 degree angle. Left click to accept. The arc tool remains active. I'm going to snap the center of my next arc to the origin point. And I'm going to left click when I see the horizontal feedback lines. Again, a 90 degree angle. Left click. Now I'm going to apply some relations. Let's exit the tool. Click in the graphic area to deselect everything. I'm going to control select these three points and the origin point and add a horizontal relation. Let's deselect everything. Now let's control select these three points and add a vertical relation. Next, I'm going to add some construction geometry. Let's put in a center line. Coincident relation. I'm going to mouse down until I get horizontal feedback lines. And a coincident relation to this point. Right click and chain. Now I'm going to add two more lines. Moving my mouse until I see the horizontal feedback line. Left click, coincident relation with the origin point, and a second line, which will be vertical, and double click to exit the tool. By the way, to create construction geometry, I can simply use the rectangle tool also. In fact, it would have saved me an extra step. However, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use these individual construction lines. All right, let's go ahead and add one more. And I'm going to apply a circle, the center of which will be coincident with this center line. Accept. Notice that we've got a horizontal relation here. We did apply it earlier. And when I move the sketch, this point stays horizontal to the origin point. Okay, let's undo that move and deselect everything by clicking in blank space. Activate the Mirror Entities tool. And we begin by selecting the entities we want to mirror. I've done it with a window select. Copy, Mirror About. Let's select this line. There's our preview in yellow. Accept. Notice we lost this horizontal relation. SOLIDWORKS replaced it with a symmetry relation. The point is this, even when you make your sketch fully defined before you apply the Mirror Entity tool, the sketch may become underdefined once you apply the tool. OK, let's keep working. Deselect everything by clicking in blank space in the graphic area. And let's activate the Mirror Entities tool again. I'm going to select these two arcs. Copy, Mirror About. Let's select this line and there's our preview in yellow. This time, SOLIDWORKS didn't add a symmetry relation. What SOLIDWORKS did was convert the arc to a full circle. Let's deselect everything by clicking in blank space, activate the Mirror Entities tool, and let's select these two lines. Uncheck Copy this time, Mirror About. Let's select this line, and there's our preview. Let's click Accept. Now I'm going to grab my geometry and move it. Notice that SOLIDWORKS didn't automatically add a horizontal relation. We also lost some relations. We lost the coincident relation here, and here as well. Let's undo. One more thing. If I select this line, notice that SOLIDWORKS extends it down. However, if I select this line, we have two separate lines. 
Let's apply some relations and dimensions now. I'm going to select this line, apply a horizontal relation, select this circle, and control select this line, apply a tangent relation, select this circle, control select this one, and apply an equal relation. Now I'm going to add a collinear relation between these two lines. If I grab this point, notice that I can move it freely. Let's click Undo. And let's select this line. Control select this one. Apply a collinear relation. Next thing, I want to make sure these circles, the centers of those circles, are equidistant from the origin point. First, I'm going to select this point. Select this line. Add a coincident relation. Now to have the centers of the circles at equal distance, I'm going to use a construction circle with its center at the origin point. Let's snap the center here, and snap the circle right here. Let's check for construction, and accept. Let's unselect everything. Next, I need to add a coincident relation between the center of the circle and this circle. Coincident, accept. Let's add some dimensions now. First, the big circle, 140 millimeters, OK. The construction circle, give it a diameter of 114 millimeters, OK. Inside circle, let's make it 100 millimeters. And let's make this one 40 millimeters, except. OK, let's exit the tool. We're going to find out where else we need to apply dimensions and relations. As you can see, we still have some blue geometry on our screen. So this means our sketch is underdefined, as also indicated in the status bar. I'm going to grab one of the corners and drag it up and down. Let's see what happens. And now it's easy to see what the problem is. Let's click Undo to undo that move. I'm going to select this point, Control select the circle, add a coincident relation. Deselect everything. Same thing on this side. Now here it's going to be a little tricky. Since we've got a symmetry relation here, I'll only be able to drag this line along the horizontal axis. Basically, I'm going to grab it, drag it here, until both the horizontal and vertical glyphs appear. Then I'll release the left mouse button. And now my sketch is fully defined. Let's just review this last step. SolidWorks added a coincident relation between this point and the circle, and a vertical relation between this point here and the origin point. One last thing here, I've got some dangling construction geometry, but our sketch does remain fully defined. The reason for this is that you don't necessarily have to dimension construction lines. Now what happens if I uncheck for construction under options in the property manager? Let's try it out. Now we see our sketch is underdefined. Let's restore for construction. And this concludes our lesson about mirror entities.